And now it's time to continue with the uh, cleaning and loop, the self timer and the slow gear in the Olympus Pen EED. As I um, mentioned in the first part, I will uh, do split up the the whole process here. And um, yeah, let's just take the self timer which is a bit sticky. I mean, some of the parts are a bit sticky uh, because of probably old dry uh, loop or oil or whatever they use in the past. <coughs> and uh, this one seems to be a little uh, dry in the, in the uh, especially this part. The self timer itself is actually running uh, fine. But I will just do a um, a cleaning with uh, isopropyl alcohol, 99%. If you have 90, I mean 91 or 80%, I think it will do the job too. Or you, if you have lighter fluid, <coughs> also probably use it. Well, uh, let's see how it will act. And. Take care of the small axles here, they are a bit thin, but use a um, very pointed uh, plier and we can then advance, hopefully advance the self timer, oh this one has to say, stay there, and we'll try to advance, so as long as it can and this arm has to to actually move <coughs> and it's also the one that reset the timer so it's ready to advance the be <laughs> uh, yeah cocked again now this arm here is actually that goes to the um, to this part here where it pressed down gently as it it uh, the time runs it will gently press down the shutter button and then activate the shutter so now let us see how it looks when it runs and it will when you press on the on the front it will press on this uh, spring here and then activate the self timer so let's see how it will go click and then the time is running and it will pull the arm here and then when the time is running out it will reset the self timer I mean set it back to normal <clears throat> but this arm here is a bit sticky in a way and uh, some parts maybe need some loop so I will just simply jump it into a bath maybe you would think it's not really necessary but I mean depending on if you look at how old the cameras actually is uh, so it, it will need some <coughs> kind of cleaning. And we can just advance the self timer again. And so have it there. And the plier. Hopefully it's possible. So there it should be. And then we can just let it run <laughs> when it sits in the bath. And then press the spring here. And then it will run. And, well, it's difficult. <laughs> But it will do the job here, and uh, I think it will be fine because this part here 
this part here was really really not uh, working as it should it was a bit sticky so we're giving it a bath and then blow some of the rest away <coughs> And it's actually my uh, exhausting, I mean the ventilation you hear, that's just sit um, on one side of my working desk, so take away the, the, uh, the smell, which is not so, I mean it's not really perfume, <laughs> but um, so it's just to have safety first as we say and we maybe have to do it again uh, maybe not but it seems more alive uh, right now and uh, I think it it simply just will work much better after this little treatment and we can just uh, activate the, I mean, advance the self timer here. So, and then activate the, oh, <laughs> activate the button here and let the time run. And it will run out. And then click reset so you can see it's much more alive now already and I will just um, loop only the the axle end here should be there there and also this part here and also on the other side there's one here there and um, and of course this part here so I think we'll need some and also up here so um, yeah <clears throat> and for that I will use super fine and very very thin um, sewing machine oil acid free and uh, it's very very thin and a surrey needle also on so just give it a very light um, oil doesn't have to be a l smaller than a little drop <laughs> and then just wipe it away when it's And a little will do a lot. And it's thin enough to come in where it should. So that's it. Maybe we'll, we'll do this and this so that's all no need for doing any more wow you can see it actually runs very very good and also this arm here it's more much more alive <coughs> and then just wipe away the rest of it oh and this the tiny drops I use uh, is not much but is it's uh, it will do the job so we can just advance the self timer again and hold on there
Yeah, it's really good. And then advance the self timer. And it will do the trick. Click. And it reset. So that's really good. I mean, you can see it's more alive than it was before. And there's just a little amount of of uh, oil and it shouldn't be much so that's good now head off to the slow gear here with this, this tiny fellow and it's also in a way I mean it looks like it's uh, it's a little slow And there seems to be some oil film or something. So I will just give it a shower. And the same again. And I will just activate the slow gear and see how it will go. Just to be sure the... Um, the isopropyl alcohol come in all in all small places <clears throat> and when you move it it will also clean as much as possible I think it will be pretty good and then so there there's no need to disassemble this part here. So it's there. Uh, we can just use a plus to just wipe the rest away. And then it looks nice and fine. But there is another thing. Uh, well, we can just loot this uh, part here. So uh, it runs good. And it's just a tiny drop. on the axle end and flip it over so and that's it and then wipe away the rest of it doesn't have to come in And it seems more alive. And it doesn't have to be much. So, now then, the um, I was thinking about uh, this gear here. Looks a bit... It's a bit uh, sticky in a way. So I will just give it a, a go here. Jump it into the is real alcohol and give it some good movement because it was a bit tight when you advanced the the self timer so it's much more it's much better right now and there is no idea to fully disassemble this uh, in my opinion If it was rusty or something, could be. And then give it some 
fresh air. Yeah. So there. And on the other side. So. And then it runs much much better now. So I will just give it a a tiny drop of oil and say that's all fine. And I think I will do it up here so the oil can suck into the the rest of it. So that's it. A tiny drop and give it some good movement. <laughs> wow. Much better, much better. That's good. I'm happy with that. So um, I was thinking of uh, just put it back in again, those parts, and uh, say that's all fine. The slow gear here. And it can only sit in one position. Tiny, the long screw has to come in first, and then the other. So there, and the other screw. Luckily, it's magnetic. Oh, gosh. It runs away. No, it's here. Gosh. Those tiny screws, they are really... <coughs> it needs more magnetite. So I just use a strong magnet. And uh, it will do the job to make it more magnetic. So it will be easier to, to have the screw in place. So there. So there. And uh, then, and if you remember, I set a scratch around the uh, self-timer. So I know exactly position. And that's why it is so important to set marks and scratches and whatever. I mean, no one will see them. But I have on both sides here and here. So uh, I know the exact position of this part. So tighten it good. So there. And. So that's all fine. <clears throat> yeah. And then I can uh, put in the slow gear here. And it can only sit in one position. And uh, since I have a mark here on the back, I know this one has to sit there because the the part on I mean the <laughs> the connection to the uh, button on the front, the lever on the front, <laughs> sorry, um, should also sit correct. So if uh, if you didn't set a mark here, how could you know how this one will sit when it's correct? So that's why it is important. Now put on the self timer here and say that's fine. We'll have to figure it out here. And just 
screw has to sit there. See, it moves a little, it moves one teeth. And there it is. Though the little screw comes in. I just need another screwdriver here. And here it is. The wire here has to come over it, not under. So there. And so it sits there. And now we are almost safe home. I just need the other screw. So it would be would be this. And then take care of the the part here. Not bend it. <coughs> Tighten it good. And then we are almost there. <coughs> now then I will uh, put in the the parts for the uh, advanced, I mean the shutter mechanism for the uh, that actually the what's say um, hmm, the name yeah the shutter button mechanism here and uh, I will just put on the spring first which uh, can be a little annoying to put on that's why I set it up here and with a dented tweezer hopefully it will do the job hmm. it's not that easy where did it go here my dentist tool probably can do it And here we go. So I simply put the the dentist tool in here and lift it to the up to where it should be without damaging the spring. So now I can easily put this lever down here and put in this special screw where is my screw door here <coughs> and put in this special screw. Uh, with a big head so there and then something like that and then screw it in be sure the screw sit correct uh, and not tighten it too much so we can see here, works really good. And then the next uh, part here. But hold on a second. It's not really the correct way because <laughs> when I uh, took out the lens assembly here, I mean the focus assembly here, I should have taken it out the self timer first. So I will take it out again. But um, and then do the next part, uh, which will disassemble the focusing system. So I will just take it out again, because it will be much easier to put in the the uh, focusing assembly. Sometimes you have to think okay was it the wrong way I did it well sometimes hmm. yeah we will figure it out so unscrew this again it's not a big deal since I have my mark 
uh, around here it, it it's not a problem so that is that's it for this uh, part and uh, I will just do the next part and clean and reloop the focusing helicoid so see you soon